just a real quick tutorial as I'm getting ready for, I need to do my makeup for a full day, like for it to last. And so this is Saturday morning. We are running to the Gaylord for a full day, day with me and Shay and then some of our friends. And we're going to see a band tonight that we love. We have dinner, we have appetizers with our friends and um, we got a reserved table at this um, concert that we're going to. So I've got to get a full face for the full day. So the first thing I use is lifting serum. I have found if I do serum right before I put my foundation on, my foundation glides and it lasts all day long. Now y'all may notice I've got my lash extensions off right now. I've been having nothing related to my lashes, but some eye issues. So I took them off just for a bit. And my natural lashes, I don't know if you can see them, see them, they're ultra blonde. They stick straight out, so I have to curl them. So what I'm gonna do today, I don't do this every day. Some days I just curl them and use a really strong mascara. I have to have a super strong hold and use um, lash primer. But um, tonight, because it's more of a fancy, I hope I've got my lashes, um, a fancy special night, I'm gonna put lashes on. People are gonna have to hold. I gotta go get a pair of lashes. So I could just keep lashes stocked. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna do a full lash look. I normally, just for daily, if I'm gonna do lashes, my own, I use natural. And so the set that I love, that I think looks super, just they're easy to put on and they look really natural, are 172. That's the number I use. So, um, but tonight, y'all stop, don't do that. No fighting. They love baseballs. So they, We'll get one, we have several, but they get one and fight over it. So tonight I'm gonna do just a little more va -voom because I'm going on a date night and I wanna look a little more glamorous than usual. So, where's my eyeliner? So I line my eyes first and use my eye primer. That's the very first thing that I do to get my face ready. And so, now I line all the way in to the corners. Now I go back over liner with shadow to give me more of a smoky look. I don't want it too thick with just the line. I, th I found with people, especially Waverly does a lot of makeup, is people are scared of liner because they're not used to the way their eye looks with it. The point of eyeliner is to make your lashes look thicker and then just to define those eyes. So I've just found don't be afraid, just play with it. And you can always go back. I keep an oil-free eye makeup remover. I, I have like three bottles of this all at all times. I keep one with my makeup for cleanups I keep one in my purse, so if I find myself needing it throughout the day, and then I keep one in my bathroom um, for when I'm taking a bath and getting ready for bed and stuff like that and cleaning because I want to keep my eyes clean. And uh, I've always really kept my eyes very clean. That's really important even if you don't wear eye makeup. I mean, obviously, you probably wear eye makeup if you're watching this. So, <clears throat> let me show you. I like to use a cream eyeshadow for my primer. And I use a brush to put it on. And then I just let that sit. So, it's super easy. But then that gives my shadow something to stick to. I use that um, Beach Blonde. Is it still called that? Yeah, sometimes Mary Kay changes the names to things. And so I don't see that. So now I'm gonna let that dry. 
So what I do while that's drying, I'm gonna do my lashes and I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. So I go back. Now, I like to use a huge makeup palette and I didn't show this in my first video, but this is what I use. And I go and use a dark brown to fill in my brows. And especially if I'm gonna do an all day look, see the difference? Because, I better look in the mirror and not look at y'all. Um, I want this to stay on and it will fade as the day goes on. So I just fill in my natural hair on my brow. That's all I do with eyeshadow. I don't, me personally, I'm funny about brows. I know they're like real in to get all this crazy stuff done. My daughter loves all that. And she's the one who actually taught me to fill my brows in because she was like, Mom, I never filled them in because I'm blonde. And I thought, well, they need to just match my hair. But she's like, no, you need, you need people to see your brows. It's going to make your face look better. That's <laughs> what she told me. So, I didn't get used to it. At first, I was like, oh, heavens, I can't do that. Because I've always had super blonde. My, my brows are naturally blonde. So, I just had to get used to this. But do you see how fast? I mean, that's it. But I do a dark when I'm doing an all day. Like, this will probably stay out till 1 in the morning tonight. We're staying at the Gaylord with friends. So, I've got to have this last. So, I did a little darker than usual. You can do it lighter. I just use, I don't even know the name of this color. Y'all want me to look because people ask me. Espresso by Mary Kay. That's the one I use. But you can use anything. So then, now I'm gonna go back. Tonight I'm wearing, oh, let me do this. Pink and black, but I'll go back to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue my lashes on. Now y'all, I keep this super simple, okay? I'm using the 812s tonight, because I usually use, I don't like huge lashes. Like when they're too long, I just do not like the way that looks, personally. And so, when they're like hitting your eyebrows, I know that's in, I, I'm just not an in person. I'm like one of those people, I was country when country wasn't cool. So, I just kind of do my own thing. So, I like lashes. I want to, I want um, a little bit bigger lashes tonight. So, I don't know if you know, when they're like this, this is the left, this is the right. So, it's super easy. You just. I like to use tinted glue. So I use this glue that's gray so it'll mix in with my eyeliner and you won't see it. So I'm gonna try to do this where I have to look in the mirror because I've got to do this right, but hopefully you can see it while I'm doing it. Let's see, let me get down. Is it this one's? So you do it right on, see how that's coming up? That's not good. So of course today, this isn't gonna go very easy. So let me just concentrate for a second, y'all just watch. Normally hold this on, let me get a Q-tip. I keep Q-tips where I'm getting dressed and instead of using my dirty fingers like I just did, it's probably not a good thing. Um, hold that on with a Q-tip just to get it on. So you glue it on the edge and then you just want it right there actually glued into your lash line. I think I really sucked this up today. So what I'm gonna do so this is a good example if you don't normally do lashes and so you can all already see my eyes watering. I've been having a lot of trouble with my eyes. And um, I've been having to take some breaks from trying to be so glamorous. <laughs> I gotta just be a little more chill. But tonight's a date night. So I'm gonna go back with just a little bit of glue because I can see those were not on good. And hopefully glue these down. I don't normally use these 800s, so they're really going on a skosh different than the natural ones. 
I will do a video where y'all can see the natural ones too. So see how those are pretty. For me, these are really long and big. I know people with lash extensions. I don't wear the great big lash extensions. I always wanted Kendra to do mine where I just have lashes. Cause as y'all see, you can see the difference with my blonde. Can y'all even see my lashes? <laughs> my lashes are literally white. So is the hair on my arms. I mean, I just have blonde hair everywhere. So, okay, let me do my other one. Let's see if this goes better. I'm gonna let that glue dry. I think it is. I'm not crazy about how this looks right now, but we'll see, hang on. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue this other one on. So see, you just pull it. They're kind of like glued sort of onto the little piece of paper. I think maybe if I fold it a little bit, that might help where it's already rounded. You know, kind of if you have a baseball cap that's brand new and it doesn't look like it's sticking straight out instead of bent. My cousin used to stick them in cups to get them to bend. So maybe do kind of think of that process. Kind of, kind of go ahead and curl them a little bit like that so they're not so straight. I think it'll go on a little easier. You're doing this with me, so here we go. You might be watching and have some tips for me. I would love them, and anybody else might love them, you can comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tell people about us, share my video, if you will. I would love that. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this goes better. So I'm gonna go here to here. No, it's not going better, y'all. I think these are a little harder. I don't want them under my lashes. I think these might be a little harder to put on than the naturals. Yeah, they are. They definitely are. Good grief. Yeah, this is my wonderful tutorial of how to put lashes on. And oh, it's so easy. Just glue them on. Okay, yeah, that's not how this is going today. Let's get my, look at this. Doesn't that look great? <laughs> okay, y'all. If you can tell what I'm doing wrong, I would love to know. I think it's just they're a little more straight. The natural ones naturally curve. So I don't know, maybe these are made for people with straighter eyes than I have. Okay, and that's going up. We don't want that. If you don't have like a nail to kind of push that down, I would use tweezers. It's probably better to use tweezers anyway. I wouldn't be using your fingers the way I am. Like I said, this normally goes a little easier. I don't know why that's doing that, y'all. Okay. So Good Lord Almighty, that was not easy. So my showing you how to put lashes on so easy, it's not going too good. So if you have a better technique, please tell me, please comment, please pose. I am gonna go back with a little, let's see, glue. And make sure these are glued on because they got to stay on until late tonight. Like I said, it's Saturday morning right now. And these have got to stay on until through the, my date day and a concert and party tonight with some friends. And we'll go to bed late. So we don't want these hanging off. So I'm just going to go back with a tiny bit of glue just to make sure. And the good thing, like I said, it's this dark glue. So, oh shoot a moose, I don't think that was good. So, okay, I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit and then we can decide what we think or if I need to start all the way over. Let's pray I don't, because my sitter's gonna be here in an hour and my makeup's not on and my hair's not done. So, I'm trying to let my hair air dry just a little bit before I have to blow dry it out. 
I did, I was asked, um, one of my good friends, Autumn, asked me to do a hair tutorial. Not that I'm some good hair, please. Do not think I think I'm some good hair person. But some people, I guess, think my hair looks decent. So maybe I'll show y'all what products I use and what I do because I have to be so careful with my hair because of it being um, highlighted so light. So I'm gonna go back over that just a little with my eyeliner again. When I did my tutorial before, it was an everyday look. This is gonna be an evening look. So I'm gonna wear a lot more makeup than like what I wear during the day. Okay, y'all, I think my lashes look pretty good. I mean, I've gotta do mascara. See that line? I think that'll go away when I do the mascara, don't y'all? So we'll see. Okay, so those are on, let's let them dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. So today I am gonna do a more dramatic eye. I am, I've got lavenders on today and I'm wearing pinks and black tonight. I'm wearing these really cool shoes from London tonight. I actually got them as just a statement piece to wear just on stage. Of course, I would never wear them working, actually working in the field, but they looked really cool with um, my suit that I have to wear for work again to give it my own flair and my own style on just on stage. Um, so they're super fun. And we're going to a disco band, this band, they're called La Freak tonight. So I'm gonna do an ultra dramatic look. Now, I follow this cute little young girl, which my daughter can do my makeup, which she's out of town, um, similar to how this girl does. So I was asking Waverly some tips because her makeup is always very dramatic, but looks amazing. And so Waverly told me, just don't be afraid to use a dark color as long as you go back and blend it back in. So what I don't want is dark here close to my eyebrows. So I've got to make sure that I'm staying within that crease. I'm using like an, I don't know the name of this color, but it's like a very dark black color, true black. Yeah, it doesn't say it on the bottom. So it's just super black, super, super black. Again, I'm doing a very, very dramatic look where I normally just do real neutrals and tones for every day. Easy tones anyone can do, but tonight I'm doing a super smoky eye and want more of that glamorous look. That's why I've got these long eyelashes on too. So if you can kind of see how this looks, this is a super smoky eye. Now I've been asked over the years, cause I've always been able to do a smoky eye on, oh, come do a smoky eye for me. The thing about a smoky eye is you've got to know if you're doing a smoky eye, it's a very glamorous look and it's not like an everyday, oh, let me just run around like this. It's more of a, I'm getting dressed up. I mean, I don't know, maybe some of you like this look for every day. So maybe I shouldn't put you in that box. So forgive me, maybe I just did that. If you love it every day, wear it every day, I don't care. It's all good. You do you. I'll do me. For me, this is not. And do you see how I got this extra? That's got to go. So see, that's why I keep the oil-free eye makeup remover because you can remove stuff, which I have to do often, and put it right back on. What I do is you got to shake it up really good. Is put it in the lid. To me, everybody needs three bottles of this at all times. Um, and just clean up. Do you see how dirty that was? So that's just, you'll always have little extra kind of go under there. That's another reason why I only do one layer of foundation and then 
go ahead and start on my eyes and then I'll finish up foundation. Because a lot of times I have to clean up under there and so I've got to reapply foundation. So I'm gonna let that dry. I let everything just sit. It's not wet eyeshadow, but just let it sit for a minute. Then I'm gonna go back and blend and bring in my light colors. So I'm gonna do that in just a minute. And I don't have to worry about the overage so much with light colors like I do dark colors. Okay, so now I am going to use an under eye corrector and I like to use this every single day. And I don't care how old you are, it's great to highlight under that eye area. I don't get just a ton of darkness under my eye, but I do have some natural. I had an accident when I was a young kid, so I've got a natural scar over here that I've had since I was like eight. My mom could tell you how old I was when it happened. I can't remember, but we were at our condo in Vail, Colorado, and I was jumping on the bed, and I jumped over the bed and hit my eye on the corner of the nightstand and um, had to get stitches and anyway, so I just always use, now see with, right now this is gonna look ultra bad, but then I'm gonna cover it up with eye, with um, foundation and get it blended in and then just have that lightness under my eye. So I don't want it to look like it looks right now, but I gotta let that dry. So you gotta just kinda go, okay, now I'll do another step because I'm letting that step dry. So I am gonna use, I love, love, love lash primer. I love it, can't live without it. I always prime my lashes before I put mascara on and after, both. Like, I can't live without primer. I do primer about, I buy primer once a month. You'll think you still have some, but you really need to get it often just because of eye infections. I was just told this by an eye doctor to be, that people may tell you, oh, you can keep mascara for blah, 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 the people who sell it. Um, or, you know, I say that you can use it for a long time. Just for eye infection purpose, I switch out mascara every month and I switch out eye primer every single month. Just not that the manufacturer says that, but my eye doctor said just to steer clear of any further problems happening. That's, it's a dark place for bacteria to grow. So it's just a good idea to switch that out. So then I go back with my light color once I've primed my lashes and go ahead and start blending. Now, I like to blend everything with a matte. So you can see the matte I use is starting to go away because I've used it so much. But I go back and blend, 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 blend. So that's not, see how it's not so harsh like it was? So it's, when you see someone that it's really harsh lines, they just haven't been taught to blend. And every makeup artist, I have had the privilege of getting my makeup done often, has taught me blend, 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 blend. You cannot blend enough. There's no blending enough. So just go back. They're like, you can always go back and add dark again, but blend. So see how nice that looks just with using that matte high color, light color. Can y'all see that on top of everything? Do y'all see the difference? Oh my gosh, like I, I'm an eyeshadow lover. I love eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead now and prime my top lashes. Where's my primer? Where is my primer? I'm gonna line my lips and here it is. Prime my, so I'm gonna go ahead. Now, even when I wear glue on strips, you know, lashes, it doesn't matter the brand. Um, I don't know a lot of brands. I just use the ones from CVS that I can run in and get if I'm gonna be gluing lashes on. Are these on good? I think they are. Um but I want my natural lashes blended in with the ones I glued. So I use mascara and I use a primer to make that happen. So, and you can already see y'all, 
my eyes will go back to normal. I'll show you later. But I've just been having a lot of eye issues. It's been totally crazy. So that was primer. So I do that and let it dry. So like today, my makeup has taken a lot longer than it takes when I'm just do an everyday look takes me 10 minutes to get ready. And so that was my first makeup. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. That's just every day. This is, I'm spending a little more time. For one thing, I'm letting my hair dry. For another thing, this is kind of how I pamper myself is taking time getting ready. And also go in the corners of your eyes because you do not want that black. Use your light color. You want to keep that real light. Okay, so that is what that looks like. I think tonight I'm going to add a little bit of a pinkish tone because of what I'm wearing. Now, I like to accent, see the difference, see that one, see that one, with a shimmer up by my brow. Now, I'm not going to do it down low this light shimmer, but I am going to do it. And what that does, this is what my little makeup artist friend taught me and my daughter. That just gave me an instant brow lift. So do you see the difference once I put that on? It really is amazing. So I just go right up next to those brows and use that. I need a little more over here, that shimmery effect. It really gives you like a wow, let's pop look. I love it. And then I'm going to go back with a pink because I'm wearing pink tonight. And I'm going to fill in. See the difference? I'm going to fill in with the pink. Right here on the, just the base of my eye. So I get like my main color put on. I get it super blended and then I go back with, depending on the day, the evening, my accent colors. Like I said, this is a super, this is a very dramatic look for me personally. You may look and go, oh, that's not dramatic at all. I wear way more makeup than that. But for me, this is a lot. These are a lot of steps and a pretty bold look for me personally with my eyes. So now I'm going to go back with, I again, I use CC cream. CC cream's easy. Like normally every day I've got plenty of makeup on and be ready to go. But because I want this to last all day, because I want, because I've already done a layer. CC cream is buildable. So you can actually, so you can actually use it on top of layer after layer and you can layer it and that will give you more coverage. So I love CC cream because every day I want to see my skin through it. I want to have just an all natural people see that I have good skin because I use amazing skincare. And so I want people to be able to see that. So for me personally, I don't want a real heavy foundation every day. I don't need heavy coverage. I believe because I've taken care of my skin so well um, because I've used Mary Kay products since I was 13 years old. So they've really done well for my skin and kept me. Someone said the other day I was at this store. She was like, your skin is amazing. I said, oh girl, it's Mary Kay. Mary Kay skincare. That, that's what gets my skin looking like this. But tonight, and again, do not get me wrong. I have some, I have things I don't like. We all do. So, but I do feel good about my skin since I'm four, I'm 43. So I feel good about it. Um, go back over your CC cream with a beauty blotter. I love a beauty blotter. I use one once a month. I use it, use it, wash it out, wash it out. And then I get a new one every month. And so I just go back over and blot. And so see how I still have lightness under my eyes, but it's not like a raccoon. 
some people put this on and they don't understand it's split. Everything we do with our makeup has gotta be blended, 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 blended. And I'll find myself in a hurry and then see something later and go, oh my Lord, I had a line right there instead of blending it. You may have seen a video where I look like that because I'll notice it later where I didn't even see it in real life. So, now my foundation, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna end it with mineral powder and that's gonna give me a set look. So I did three layers of CC cream because it's for it all day and all night where I don't wanna touch my makeup again. And I'm gonna also use a setting spray. But do you see how that CC cream just blends? It have no lines, nothing of makeup. I just love it. Love, 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 love it. Um, but then I'm going to finish with CC cream. I'm going to go ahead and do my, um, I like to contour and make my cheekbones pop. See how they don't pop right now? So I like to make them pop. Again, I showed you this in another video. No matter what I'm doing, I'm always contouring. So I never was told that you need until recently from a makeup artist that you go under that cheekbone with a dark color to make the cheekbone pop. That's why, like, when you see famous people or people on TV, they look like they've got super big cheekbones. They just know they're makeup artists that's doing their makeup for the video or whatever they're doing. They know how to make their cheekbones pop. So, see, I have that line right now that's not good. So, we want to go back over that and blend, 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 where you still get the effect, but it's not a line. So, I'm going to do that. Did y'all notice I did my lip liner and then I blended it in? I also, every single day of my life, I use um, the lip primer. And I love a lip primer. I do not want lines around my lips. It keeps fine lines and wrinkles from your lips, but also keeps your lipstick from feathering and bleeding. And it helps smudge your lip liner a little bit where you don't look like you've got a line but you can still see the natural. I wanna see that everything I do, I wanna see the natural line around my lips. We all have it, but it just disappears sometimes. So you see that look, so it's super easy. And then that's my contour. You don't wanna go in more than two fingers inside. So it's about right there. And now I'm gonna go back with, I use different blushes. I'm wearing cool tones, so I'm gonna wear a cool blush. I've been told so many different things about makeup, like, oh, you're a summer, you're a this. Here's the thing, I like my makeup to go with what I'm wearing. So I don't wanna have on warm tone makeup with cool tone clothes. So if I'm wearing a cool tone, like I'm wearing pinks tonight, I'm gonna go with a cool tone blush. That's why I have four to five different blushes that I alternate with. This is actually my favorite. I think it's called Strawberry Cream. That's what it used to be called. No, nope, it's called Darling Pink. So see, names are changing. We're all moving forward, right? I think, um, how did Mary Kay Ash say it? She said, if you're not moving forward, you're going to, you're not standing still. You're going backwards. Something like that. I don't know. I don't wanna go backwards. I wanna keep moving forward, get better all the time. And then I use Illuminating Drops. I absolutely, they're called Illuminating Drops. I love them. I'm using the pink tone, because I'm wearing pinks tonight. So y'all, these are wow. And these give you that professional highlighting look, but in a very easy way. I have to do everything that's real easy, because I'll mess it up. And you also can do right above that brow line, just giving that a little bit of accent, lifts you. Okay, and then you just kind of blot that. Again, we're gonna go back with powders over everything. I go back over. I do like, my daughter doesn't, 
like it that good, but I like more of a dewy look, like where your skin is not dry looking. That's why I use a lot of serum with my makeup, and then I like dewy things. Now, my daughter does like the drops, but she goes over them with the powder. And then if I ever feel like something's too much, I just take my beauty blotter. I don't know why I woke up with this little thing under my eye. I never have that. I don't know what that is. But I do have vitamin C squares. I did not use them last night, so that can fix that, but it's not fixing it today. I'll have to use them tonight. Okay, so that's the illuminating drops. Then I have a highlighting powder that I love, 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 love. It's old. Um, it's not in our, it's not in the Mary Kay line anymore, but I love it. And so I use it. I still luckily have some people have given me um, that left me a lot. They gave me these. So then I go back over that and just kind of brush in those illuminating drops. It's real similar to the illuminating drops, but it's just a powder. And so I just do that on top. I also like to do it down the center of my nose to um, just give me more of that highlighted look. And then just go back over every single thing with powder and just kind of finish off that look. Again, I'm doing more than I ever do just because of we're partying like it's my birthday because it is. So, okay. So, that's kind of the look. Once my eyes settle down a little bit, I'm going to show you that. But I pretty much have my makeup on. I'm going to go back. Again, I'm going to do this one last step just because it is an all day and night thing where I'm gonna use some mineral powder on top of everything and then I'm gonna spray finishing spray just to set it off. So this is pretty much my look. Once I get my lips and anything else on, y'all ask questions if you have questions. Subscribe, share, hit the share button and go share this on Facebook. Tell your friends about us and our channel if you wanna keep seeing videos like this and have a wonderful day. I hope this was a tip you liked. So, this was my smoky eye or dramatic look day. So, I hope y'all liked it. I always like a little mineral powder because I don't want shininess off my forehead. I have super oily skin, so I'm sure by the end of the night I'll be looking shiny, shiny, shiny. So, what do y'all think? I'm done. One thing I forgot to show y'all, um, my last thing is mascara. And I do go back over these lashes and blend my natural lashes into my mascara. And then I don't have any glue lines or anything like that. So that's just a tip and that's kind of the last thing I do. To finish off. So now you can really see more of the finished look. And like I said, this is a pretty, these are big lashes for me, really big. So, I normally do a natural. You may see I got a little mascara on me. So, I go back. I'll let it dry, which I think I already did. And just go back, and it'll flake right off. So, don't try to do it while it's wet, or you'll mess up your whole makeup. Let it dry, and then you can get it off your skin. And if in doubt, you can always use oil-free makeup remover. I don't want to have to because I've already got that all highlighted and everything. Okay. Okay.